So as a fitness professional, one of my biggest pet hits in the gym is seeing members who come in five times a week for more than an hour. And this, 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 is, this isn't the personal training, this is in the franchise gym that I work at too. So seeing people come in five times a week for an hour or more and do the same exact body weight workout with the same exact weights and sets and repetitions, etc. And same amount of effort for years and years and years because they're... And their body will never change. They never progress. I mean, I can't imagine anything more discouraging than doing the same thing over and over and over again and not achieving any gains. If you are looking to improve your appearance, the main reason you may be failing is most likely because you're no longer challenging yourself. So skeletal muscle grows bigger and stronger in response to the training stimulus. But for further gains, you need to continue making greater demands on it. If you don't progressively overload the muscles by forcing them to do more than they're accustomed to, they have no reason to further make any adaptions. So what is progressive overload? So this principle involves continually increasing the demands on the musculoskeletal system to continue to make gains in muscle size, strength, and endurance. So simply put, in order to get bigger and stronger, you must continually make muscles work harder than they are used to. Most often, that means increasing the resistance, but there are also other methods to help increase the overload, to reach progressive overload. So let me elaborate. Say you prefer perform one set of 10 reps of dumbbell bicep curls, yeah? with say a 5k dumbbell. Over time, you'll get stronger and your biceps will get bigger as a result. So completing 10 reps will become easy, say like a month down the line. So as your biceps have adapted to the initial load or overload you introduced, where do you go now? Do you continue using the same weight or load? So the same number of repetitions? Or are there changes you should consider making? If you continue performing that single set of using that 5k dumbbell with, with the same repetitions, don't expect any further gains because you're not challenging it. It's got used to that weight. It's not going to progress. So there's no reasons for your biceps to grow larger or stronger. They're already capable of handling that overload. So for your biceps to become bigger and stronger, you need to place even greater demands on them. So here are five most important ways you can just do that. Number one, increase the resistance. Probably the most obvious way to increase the demands you place on your muscles is to increase the load, increase the weight. If five kilos is too easy when curling it, try picking up a six kilo dumbbell. If that's too easy, a seven. Try and hit the same number of reps. It should be more challenging. Number two, increase the reps. To reach progressive overload, you don't have to just increase the weight. Alternatively, as you get stronger, you can simply do more repetitions. So, because the stronger, you can lift that 5K more times than 10 reps. This is another way to help increase the overload. So, you never stop a movement when you hit your desired number. If you can do more with good form, then do more. Exercise science indicates that to maximize your muscle building efforts, the point at which you end your set, should be in the 8 to 12 rep range. So you wouldn't want to indefinitely keep adding reps as you get stronger because those incremental gains at some point would improve muscle endurance rather than muscle size. When you reach 12 reps or so, you should increase the resistance rather than simply trying to do more reps. Your reps will come down, but it will keep you in the ideal range for hypertrophy. Remember, doing additional reps by means of force reps counts too. So what's force reps? Force reps is when you have a training partner or your coach and they spot you. So you're spotted um, set. Somebody will help you very slightly just so you can finish that full set. Three, increase the volume. Volume is simply sets multiplied by reps multiplied by resistance. By adding more sets, either by doing more exercise or adding another set for your existing exercises, you are making progressively greater demands on your muscle tissue. Four, increase training frequency. Like volume, increasing the frequency which you train a muscle group can increase the overload. Like we said in the previous video, 
If you're training your chest, you want to get a bigger chest. Rather than training it once per week, train it two sessions per, per week, but split them up. This technique works particularly well when targeting an area that's lagging, a weaker body part. The traditional approach to training a muscle group is once over the course of the training split or once per week, but training it more frequently may help bring it up and make it stronger, and you will see rapid changes. Five, decrease rest time periods. So time between sets. So this is one more way to increase the overload, reducing your time between sets, ultimately allowing you to do the same amount of work in less time. This mechanism requires your body to become more metabolically efficient with regard to anaerobic exercise. Weightlifting. So you could use weightlifting and get fitter at the same time to make things harder. So making progressive overload work for you, you can include any of these methods in your training, but it's best to focus on just one at a time. As an adaption eventually occurs, and surely it will, it's good to know you have some options available, especially if simply putting more weight on the bar just doesn't seem to work any longer, like if you've plateaued. So of course, this is all assuming that you're interested in muscle building. So staying with the, the rep ranges of eight to 12 range, which is optimal for hypertrophy, which is muscle building, remember. If you are looking to focus on strength, increasing the load may be more favorable than just doing more reps. Likewise, individuals interested in increasing their lactate threshold, which is your muscular endurance, may find that doing higher reps out of the eight to 12 rep range, combined with increases in reps, not load is better suited for their activities. While factors such as increasing total volume will be important to a bodybuilder, decreasing the rest times and between sets and increasing repetitions may be more beneficial for endurance athletes or individuals. So for people who want to get fitter, who aren't too bothered about being a, being a bodybuilder. So training more for kind of performance. So any of these techniques which I've just talked about that you want to, want to use should be in line with your personal fitness goals. So prioritize what's important to you and your goals.